And a safe lane farming timber saw, or what, Durka? I, I mean, do you really want Templar Assassin against Leshrac with Diabolic Edict? Templar is here. Earthshake is on the way with a Fisher. Oh, maybe. Yabzor, long range Fisher, and a couple of hits. He does get the block off, and now Levi, oh, one more hit, and he's got the first blood. Now Levi's going to try and get out of here. He does at least buy boots, so even if Loda does get the return kill here, which he probably will. Wasting so much time, he's going to miss yeah. this full, like, waving out of creeps. He actually may not give it. He may run out of mana here. This last quill spray isn't going to be enough, and now he's out of mana. No! He can't even do that. ...on you as the support to set up these kills. We do have an attempted gank on the Broodmother. It is spotted out by these Broodlings. And we can see Loda is going to be trying to go for the kill here. Padrino is low, Radius and if he gets hit by too many of these quills, attack. he will end up falling. But he can't seem to get over the trees. Juan does help him out, but he keeps on running back into him. Throws out a spawn Spiderlings onto Ake. The Centaur Micro. Oh, good God. Two heroes down, and now a further teleport in. Yapsor still goes for it, but that's not going to be enough to hit the Chen. Now Echo Slam laid out, but it's still not enough damage. EGM returns the Echo Slam favor onto Yapsor. Of course, no stun coming out, and he will get the kill. Yapsor now trying to slow up Loda, who doesn't have any mana, so he should be fine. Turns out that TP was perfectly really low here, and the Timbersaw is not actually going to be going for him. Instead, tries to bounce over to Ake. He's got plenty of health, but running low on mana. And Pycat actually surviving that. Mech goes off from Loda. Oh, big Echo Slam! Ake goes down. EGM almost taken out by the duel. Will save him. They'll turn it around, get that Earthshaker kill. But now we have the Templar Assassin, who hits really, really hard. But she's facing him up. Oh, no, EGM in the back. He almost died to that one shot, but Jesus. The Templar Assassin, I expected BKB yep. out of that Mithril Hammer solely because the Leshrac takes a dump on you. And doing awfully. And now, talking to them, they've like grown up and got jobs and don't play anymore. They come uh, back and play. And I'm like 2,000 and more above them. It feel, feels good. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> sure, they may have the wife and the kids and the job, but look at Yap. Look are jumping oh. in. Echo Slam on three. He tries to get off more, but EGM stops and still gets off the Fisher. Does die. Nikwa surrounded by all these heroes. It's going to be going down. Massacre gets swapped as jumps over to the trees. Hey, nice Pycat, though. Loda is getting off a lot of damage. And as you said, Pycat is surrounded them. They're trapped inside the pit. Padrino's BKB runs out, gets the stun, takes out the Broodmother. Now Pycat, one versus two, as he tries they to chase. Missed. Oh no, Timbersaw! He missed the chain. Critical mistake there. Turns around, tries to do what damage he can to Pycat. He's low on mana. But he does have that Bloodstone. Loda with the buyback is going to come back and finish off Roshan here. Cast. A cast that is entirely filled of just like the biggest memes of casting. You know how we have a Templar assassin. The refraction. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you know how on melee units the oh blink forward. Yeah. Well, they <laughs> are oh, automatically God. hitting Loda in the background. I'm not sure. Oh, the echo slam. That is able to finish off EGM at least. But Loda still very much alive. Now the BKB activated on the Templar assassin. But Nikwa is dueling him for all he's worth. Templar assassin swap out. The last hit. Nikwa dies. <laughs> oh, and the PA gets out. Massive carry though is on the run. We do have a Fisher block trying to slow everybody down as much as. He lived with like a sliver of HP there. Now Chen's gonna lose some creeps too. Loses three of them, and Roshan is gonna be going the way of the Templar Assassin. Oh boy. Full Daedalus, and now 3,000 damage from Leshrac. She's also maxed out though. Uh, Loda is gonna be popping the BKB and trying to lead the assault onto these bottom two heroes, but Templar just turns and fights. Now Loda is dropping low. High cat from the side, Echo Slam stunned up, and they're gonna be able to finish him off too. Chen Heal goes off. One more hit from the Templar Assassin. Maybe that's all that's needed for step forward, and they do get him. Right side, we do have Nikwa, who pops his blade mail, trying to deal some damage back to the Timber Saw, but he withdraws his Chakram. Templar Assassin gonna have to defend his allies up against Loda, and they get it too. Take down two, three, now moving on to Chen, who's gonna be the fourth cleanup here, as only the Legion Commander, the only hero to survive here for Alliance and BBC in the last five minutes. Straight after a roach. Yeah. And it gets worse once towers start falling too, right? It's not just the gold from the team. And then when the Nikwa dies. Oh no, he duels, and that's actually going to give damage to the Broodmother. Now they're going to be able to finish off both. Pycat just wipes both those heroes out. Levi is trying to get close here. I, I mentioned Butterfly like 20 minutes ago, or yeah. 15 minutes ago, thinking, well, who is she going to block? Like, what is that evasion for? The Bristleback? Not really worth it too much, though. I think if you just go raw damage here, you could yeah. maybe even look at selling Death Slater and going oh, into life steal. Loda. He doesn't realize wow. it, but his like small little attempt to contest the Templar assassin was a big old trap.
They had two other heroes sitting on the side. Now the trap does slow down some of the retreating heroes here. Nikwa is going to turn onto the Timbersaw, but is this their best option to go for here? Timbersaw is tanky. Echo Slam goes down, wipes out at least the Legion Commander. Pycat's up next. This alliance are falling. Gets off the Bloodstone, suicide at the very least. EGM was gunning for trying to go for that Earthshaker, but no way, no how. Now Ake, last one alive and will survive. And Broodmother gets to do what she's wanted to do 40 minutes yeah, until she finally tower. gets to push a tower. Yeah. Finally claiming a tower the for The dream herself. is real. Yep, gets the tier two, now got it for the tier three. Dyer's Easy pickup, and Alliance are just... Uh, yeah, it feels like one team fight away from being completely out of this game. I mean, they're, they're obviously at a huge disadvantage. And then occasionally hopping over to the bottom lane as well. Just keeping those two lanes in control. That allows the rest of his team to four-man everywhere they go while still holding map control. Now Loda is going to be targeted here. If they get the Fisher and they yeah. can kind of surround him, sure enough. No buyback. Oh, Loda down for 90 seconds. And now they're going to lose even more here. Ake kind of caught out. He's going to be going down as well. Pycat tries to stop him, but the BKB from the Broodmother is enough. Swap on to Pycat. If they lose Pycat too, this game is pretty much over. We have the duel farther down. Templar Assassin does fall at the very least. The Blade Nail doing some good work there. It's the BKB. Runs out, but we still have Nikwa, who is eliminated by the double Chakram of the Timbersaw. Way too much damage, and sure enough, Alliance will call GG. 46 minutes in, 35 to 26, and Vulcan Bears walking away with a very much unexpected win in game number one. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy, Durka. Especially when 25, 30 minutes in, you know, Alliance were looking to just walk high ground and end mm -hmm. the game. Yeah, I mean, they were so close to being able to just... It makes me think back to, like, after one of those...